live in action on the air. Welcome back to another music marketing live session. It's Friday. It's January 29th, I think. Yes. It's January 29th and we are on the air live waiting for some people to come in. YouTube is now connecting me with all of you in the virtual environment. But I'm just going to get started with saying I have re just released a song today. It is called Goodbye. And um, actually, that was it there. That's me. This is me, actually. And then this is me here. So I thought it would be a good idea to talk about in this music marketing live session how to market a new song and what I do to market new music and what I've done to have success with that. So let me just open up Spotify, actually. Just give me a second. I'll get, I should have had this open before, but I will open it up now and I will go through some things here. So if you're just joining in the chat, say hi to, say hi to us in the chat. We want to know who's coming in to the session here, if we have newbies or we have people who've been here before. So tell us where you are coming in from. What um, You don't have to give your location. I'd recommend not telling your specific location. You can say parts of the world or what time it is. I'm also curious... Um, you know where people are tuning in from because I usually do these these sessions around evening time my time which uh, I'm currently in Berlin which means uh, it's like what 5 30 here now so it's actually more on the earlier end that I would do it right now so opening up my Spotify account for you guys and uh, I'm going to show you some some things that I'm doing for this release. This is called Goodbye, and it's a new song, just came out brand new today, so it's fresh. It's a baby song in the world of Spotify. I am one of, I believe, 40,000 songs a week are released on Spotify. So I'm one of those 40,000 this week. I feel very privileged and honored to be one of the 40,000. And so it's a good segue to talk about like how can you market your music? And um, if you have a song coming out today, maybe next week, maybe this year, how do you get above the rest and get noticed with all the other, with all the noise that's happening out there, right? Um, literally and figuratively, it is noise because it is music. So, okay, well, this the here let's just take a, a quick listen so you can kind of get an idea of the song so uh, i think genre is important to know we're gonna get really meta here we're gonna go on my youtube account <laughs>
sky's the limit. Don't look at me now. I'm down here on the ground. But I'm not done yet. I never knew how hard it gets. Friends can let you down. I wish you were around. I remember, remember, remember. Where did all the time go? Sundays used to move slow. I remember, remember, remember. So if you want to listen to the rest of that, check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Google Play, SoundCloud, Deezer, Tidal, all the other ones. You know it. You know how it is. You guys are all trying to promote your music too. So um, sorry for the plug there, but it's I think it's important to kind of get an idea of the genre because that's very specific of, or we really need to know our genre depending on, how, or we need to know our genre and how we're going to promote our music. So it doesn't really matter if you're um, making hip-hop music like if your genre is different in this video you can still follow the same principles and what i'm going to talk about and how we can market our songs okay so if you're just joining in that was a song of mine that just came out today and this music marketing live session we're going to talk about how to how we can market our songs so um feel free to jump in the chat the chat's going to be kind of like a knowledge chat where we're going to just um well you you should ask questions in the chat because i'm live here and i'm ready to take questions so i'm going to be kind of doing a bit of a a lesson if you will to slash tutorial on how i'm going to market this song this week but then i think it's important to ask questions in the chat for for your own like um, benefit really uh, if I was watching this I would want to ask questions to get an idea of how I should market my song so I'm just going to ramble on a bit and then uh, you should ask questions because um, that for one will stop me from rambling and then two it's probably more beneficial for you because you can get your specific information of what you're looking for versus having just to hear me ramble unless you like my voice and you want me just to ramble on while you're doing something <laughs> which is fine that too, I guess. Okay, so number one, how to market this song. Um, let's break this down into two parts. So the first part would be, we need to <clears throat> first, in my perspective, my situation, I have a current audience. So I have current fans and then I have like, so that's one piece. And then the second piece would be new fans so people that don't haven't heard of me before so i have to attack the marketing in from those two angles so the first angle and if you're coming from it where you don't have and maybe this is your first release you don't really have a fan base so your only angle is get my music out to everyone who hasn't heard of me before you don't have that angle where you maybe have a strong fan base so we're going to skip that because I'm going to come in at it from I have a current fan base maybe you have a current fan base too maybe you have an Instagram account a little bit of a following so let's go at it from that angle okay so the first thing the first angle which is like just getting it out to people who already know you that's re pretty much the easy stuff that's like making sure you have you've notified your audience in advance maybe through an Instagram post so Actually, let's just, just just maybe kind of briefly show you a bit of this to give context. I'm just going to go to my profile here. All right. About, so this was my first post that I made launching the song two weeks ago so i decided to do two week um in advance launch to the audience and posted this which is the cover art and then i did one two three four posts up until today this was today's post so not overwhelming and not too annoying for the current audience and it depends on how aggressive you want to be with your posts i would you have to find the balance with your audience. Maybe they like daily content, maybe they don't. I think with mine, I prefer just to post every once in a while, not really overwhelming them by just saying I have a new song all the time. So 
the first thing is you just have to notify your audience in some capacity. Usually Instagram is that conversation piece tool that you have with your audience. So that's what I use with my audience. The other tools to use to notify your audience are email. And so I collect emails and I have an email list. And so I would have done an email blast today on uh, using MailChimp, which is an email marketing software. And so you can use MailChimp or a Google Mail Merge or something to notify your audience in that way. So if anyone's just kind of joining in now, hey guys, uh, we're just, I'm just, this is my Instagram account here. You can kind of get off that. But this new song came out today and I'm going through how we can market this song, or how I'm marketing this song. And I, my kind of goal is to get about 100,000 streams for this song in the first month. And so I'll show you how I'm going to do that. And uh, if we go over to Spotify here, so let me bump this up. Um, this is the song. So I did the similar strategies for this song called Skeletons in Your Closet, which has about 170,000 streams now. So, uh, um, okay, so that so we're con kind of continuing on. There's two buckets. There's like the bucket where you have the your audience where you need that know you already, and then there's the bucket of of new audience where you're trying to get organic reach. So that first bucket is fairly straightforward. We're just talking about Instagram and how you just have to notify your audience in some capacity and you have to convert, get your audience moving to go and to listen, to listen to the song. So most of today is just kind of activating everyone who's following me on Instagram and sending private messages, um, group messages, and just letting people know like it's live, feel free to share it without being annoying or disrespectful in any in any way and yeah more more annoying because it can be annoying because everyone has a friend that's making music and every friend is asking their friends to share their music and i really only personally like sharing things i really actually enjoy so i won't share everything and um so most of today is just getting out and getting people to share it through Instagram, Facebook, all the social channels where you have your audience. The second thing would be the more interesting, well, the more, I guess, a tactic that will get you new fans. And this is um, probably the more, I guess, the question more people are interested in, which is like how to promote your music and how to market your music and get new fans. Well, we need to find channels that have organic reach. So with this specific song today, I did a reel video. So if I go to my reels here, just give me a second. So I posted a reel, this one is like four or five days ago and has 741 views. Mm, okay, that's that's not bad. Above average, I usually like if you post on my gr on the like a video on my grid there um, on the post section here, it might only get like three four hundred views. So that's double the growth because Reels is a product that Instagram pushes and a product that has more engagement. I posted this one yesterday has five hundred views. I just posted this one within the last hour. And it almost it well has 250 views so this one's definitely on track to have about a thousand views probably in 24 hours which is good growth and that's a thousand views of people most people there probably 50 percent of that haven't heard of me before because it's being pushed to the reels platform and there's high engagement there it's a good idea if you're on instagram to do reels as a tactic to get organic reach hey arho from rotterdam welcome to the chat just kind of going through how to market a new song in um and i just released a song today it's called goodbye and i'm just kind of going through how i'm going to market this song with a goal to get about a hundred thousand streams in about one month so yeah thanks for coming in saying hi
thanks for the the kind comment Th theriel though <laughs> theriel i was like the real g gk millet but also maybe your name is theriel which is a quite a nice name theriel it sounds very very uh very romantic theriel or french i'm not sure i guess french in general is quite romantic okay so we are discussing reels because reels in instagram definitely has the highest organic reach if you just decided to do a post like a general picture here you can see this one it has 91 likes this is like this is the cover art i wanted this one to really blow up right this one has 150 likes random picture so i think in general like people i think as humans we'd rather we probably like I think people like when people aren't self-promoting themselves. And this really makes sense across my account. And you look at any other like accounts, right? These, this is a self-promotion post. I'm talking about a new song coming out. These are not self-promoted posts and they're all higher engagement. This is a self-promoted post. This is not, this is not, that's, that can't be coincidence. So, it's important to not always do self-promoted posts because people see right through that BS and they won't like it because it's no one likes self-promotion. But like, I get it. We're musicians. We have to do that. So you got to do it in some way that's like not super self-promotion. Um, and you got to experiment with that. So I think the reel I did today was didn't have me in it at all. Like this one. You can hear it. Remember, where did all the time go? Sundays used to move slow. I remember, remember, remember. Pick me up, we'll drive all night. Watching the world go by. Like we used to. Like we used to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that probably will do some, like, it's obviously cool because it's drone footage and really, really nice shots. This is shot in Canada and a friend of mine, his name's Tyler did that and really well done. And I'm not in it. So it's not very self self promoted. I'm obviously singing the song, but I think finding a balance with your audience in that first bucket where you have to tell people that, you know, to go check out the song, not to be so self promoty because people are, your audience is going to see through that. Okay. So, Hey, Antonio, Welcome to the channel. Um, Arho, I... It's Rial. Oh, hey, sorry, Rial. Okay, um, nice, to meet, nice to meet you. Um, okay, Arho, how did I put my song on Insta? I used a music distributor. It's this specific one, I actually distributed this one on DistroKid. I used DistroKid and TuneCore, and they will put your song on Instagram. So... You can also, with Reels, you can just use the sound from, like if I had uh, had the sound on the background or I was like inputting the sound from, from somewhere else, I could have just taken it from the audio from the actual video file. But I would recommend if you're gonna release music on the distributor you're using, make sure that they deliver to Instagram and TikTok. Really, really important. That's kind of a good segue into the next thing. So, um, organic reach. So that's, that's with Instagram. I didn't do anything else with Instagram. IGTV didn't bother doing that. And I, I posted the reel to the post and then I put it in my story and then I restoried, uh, anyone who is kind of giving me a shout out. Okay. So. The next thing is a tick is TikTok. So the other channels that we can find organic reach, Instagram reels. Next one is TikTok. I did a I used the same video footage for this reel, and I did a TikTok story. And okay, let's go to TikTok. I spelled my name wrong. It's embarrassing. Uh, let's just go to my like. This is an old song I did, but I can get to my profile through this way. I think I can. No, I'm not logged in and stuff. Okay, let's just go here. 
Okay, so this is my TikTok profile. Okay, it has one view. I literally just posted this um, not too long ago. So, I mean, right before I got on live. So let's see how this does. Um, TikTok is funny. I think if you have a story or some type of pull on TikTok, it works. Um, you can see my videos here average maybe 500 views, but some of them have 200,000 views um, where I kind of had a good story and you can really see that. This one has 180,000 views. So if you have a good story, people will stick around, it will increase the watch time and then we push through the algorithm. So with this video and what I'm trying to get at is this video, I, I recycled the footage, but then tried to tell a story here. So I'm, I'm hoping that does does well. Okay, so that's the second piece to get organic reach is to use TikTok. You can re recycle the same footage you do on Reels. Um, they're both the same dimensions and maybe use the same footage but use different text in each to try to experiment with a different idea to see what works. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do for this song, and keep in mind that can this is all funneling. The idea of this, the goal is to get streams to Spotify. That's my goal, at least for this campaign that I'm doing for to get 100,000 streams in one month. So I'll have the link here. This is a stream link in my TikTok profile. And then I have a stream link in my Instagram profile. These links are brought to you by Tone Den. I don't know why I said brought to you by it. Sounds like an ad that's coming up. This is definitely non-sponsored. Um, Tone Den is like a free service and you can just go and get a free link there. And then this link like has the full, you know, other services there. So definitely get some type of link like this when you release a song because you're going to need that. Like not everyone is on Spotify. Some people still use SoundCloud or YouTube, whatever. I mean, I should probably put more services in here. You can have as many services as you want. I should probably put like Amazon Music in there. But the bulk, like the 80%, even 90% is covered here with the first three. Is everyone using, um, where do you guys stream music? Let me know in a comment where you stream music from. Are you using Spotify, YouTube, or Apple Music or something else? I would recommend Arho Bot for going short on TikTok. Like, try to keep it under 30 seconds. I th you can go, I think, 60 seconds on TikTok. Uh, but I would keep it short unless you have something really captivating that will pull you in. Because if you do have something really captivating and it pulls them, the, the, uh, the, the watch, the viewer in for longer, that can actually be a quite a benefit to you because you have more watch time but um, it's also quite challenging to keep TikTok view viewers around for more than three seconds so I make it short and sweet um, I probably was or was too long mine is 27 seconds but I needed that time to tell the story that I was going for so let's see how it does Yeah, Antonio, I mainly use Spotify too, but still, yeah, a lot of people use use YouTube, just like YouTube straight up, not even YouTube music, because it's free YouTube. So I think, heck, if you if you can't go for a paid service, yeah, YouTube is, is the way to go. Okay, the next thing, and let me know if you guys are marketing music and when your next song is coming out, so I can get an idea of... of um, when you guys are releasing music this year and how I can help. And also if if you are releasing music or maybe you're more interested in my music production courses and tutorials and uh, which happen on Mondays. I do music production live sessions on Mondays, music marketing sessions on Fridays, and then throughout the week I'm posting recorded videos either within one of those two buckets, marketing or production. So that's what this channel is all, all about. And subscribe if you guys haven't haven't subscribed yet because I want to see you guys around the channel. It'd be cool. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up in a few minutes because I have to run. I have to finish a song actually that I'm working on, but I wanted to jump in and say like, Hey, here's my new song. 
go check it out. And also here's what I'm doing. This is literally what I'm doing guys. And in, in a month from now, maybe I'll come back on, do a snippet of this video and show you how many streams I got. So cool. I want to release my next single in February. That's coming up. That's great. It's news. Great news. And I would recommend maybe, maybe some of this stuff or how that I'm talking about might work for you. So, um, yeah, how should you, yeah, I would, I would, I mean, literally how do you release your single? You got to get it on the music distributor. That's your first thing. And then you can use some of these marketing practices that I'm going through. The next thing, and probably the more important thing is to use playlist submission services. Now there are the ones like submit hub and playlist push, and there's a bunch of other ones. Um, I'm, I'm not going to use those. Actually, I am going to use Submit Hub because it's kind of like a necessary evil in a way. I'm just going to spend like 30 bucks on Submit Hub and just see what happens. Actually, I'm going to do a full video of that and see who gets back to me and what the quality of the feedback is and what the rejection percentage and acceptance percentage is. So that can, can be a cool video. I'll do that later and I'll post that later in the week. But more importantly, I think you should find a service that is will require bigger investment, but you know that they have good relationships with curators. So that's what I'm doing for this one is I'm going out to a service called playlist-promotion.com and I'll leave a link. I don't think I put a link in the description. This is a service that I know has quality curators and I'm going to invest in them to try and get me on Spotify playlist. So they're a huge marketing lever that you can pull to help you get discovered they'll put you in front of people that have never heard of you before. And if your music is quality, if it's good, if it has something captivating and catchy, then that's up to you because the listener will either follow you or won't. And that's not up to playlist promotion or the service to give you followers. It's up to you to have quality music. They can put you in front, open the door for you, but then you have to sell with the quality of your music. Hmm. DistroKid is good. You'll be able to get your songs on Instagram and TikTok, Arho. No worries there. I have a few videos on DistroKid that go through what the actual distribution process looks like. If you want to check uh, my channel on, on that, just type in DistroKid or do command F DistroKid on my channel. You'll see that. Okay. Yeah, that's... um. This is, this is the strategy. And next week I will do like a... Um, I'll post a live video... Of my, to my current audience to just loop them back in the funnel because people forget easily. There's a lot of buzz today. It's exciting, new songs out. People are really vibing to it and, and there's excitement. But tomorrow it's over and like people are, there's a new song out. People are, it's Saturday. They're going to probably at home or just watching shows at home. But it's old news. It happens so quickly. So you have to loop people back into the funnel maybe not, not the next day. I'm talking like, because that's annoying. Wait till Tuesday, Wednesday. Hey, did you check out the song? Maybe here's some, maybe here's a cool testimonial from a blog, or maybe I got on this big playlist, or maybe it's just a picture of you saying thank you. Something to loop back in that, again, is not too self, self-promote T. Good question. Yeah, that's another good piece of information. Kind of where I'd like to end it is, should you, I'm talking a lot about Spotify. Should it just be Spotify? No, it shouldn't actually. Um, this is my strategy for this song, but actually throughout the songs that I released this year, I don't want to just focus on Spotify because I think there's a huge market out there that people that listen to music aren't on Spotify. So are there, the, the problem is, are there playlist promoters for Apple Music you say? Not really. The thing is, Apple Music doesn't have as many user-generated playlists. So that's the problem. Um, their market of playlists isn't as big, which is why Spotify is like the holy grail for musicians because there's so many opportunities to get on playlists. But because there's so many opportunities, that means there's more room for crappy, low-quality playlists, which there are. So you have to be you have to know where you're getting your song on. That's why I mentioned using a service that has quality vetted curators that you know of. It's been it's been fun. I, I This has been a quick one and I kind of just like rambled a bit on what I'm doing. I hope it was beneficial to you guys. I'm going to come on next week 
uh, next Friday we'll do a recap of this and see how it's going, see how many streams we have um, going right now or how many we've got with this strategy so far on Goodbye. So if you're just watching the recorded version, um, tune in next Friday. And actually, it doesn't matter if you're live here. Tune in next Friday. We'll do a recap of this. And subscribe, guys. I really want to start building this community around music marketing and just showing here's what I'm doing, the things that are working, and here's the stuff that's not working. Don't do that stuff. And then you can take it or leave it, things that... Um, that might may or may not work for you. So we'll see you next Friday or next Monday for music marketing promotion. And thanks for again for listening. I'm going to tune out. I, was, I, was, <laughs> I said I was going to tune out with playing this song, but I cut my myself off. Let's open up. What should we play it on? All right, let's do it. Uh, let's play it on Spotify. Five years old in the backseat, counting snowflakes in the sky. You were singing while we drive. I remember cold nights, shimmering snow under my feet, making castles so white. Never felt so alive. I remember, remember, remember. Where did all the time go? Am I getting too old? I remember, remember, remember. Drive all night Watching the world go by Like we used to Like we used to ooh, 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 ooh. Watching the world go by Like we used to Like we used to ooh, 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 ooh. Watching the world go by Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye See you guys later. Join in next time. Ooh.